Hello, I am Mystic Orange and you're listening to Talking in the Shadows. This is video hashtag 445. So in this video, I will be reviewing the new Scooby-Doo movies. But before we get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe to see more videos like this. I would like to thank you guys for helping me reach a 350 subscriber milestone. It helps me to stay motivated to make more videos. It also helps you so you can be connected with the content you get. I would also like you guys to check out my YouTube shots. So the past two months, one month and a half ish, I've been exactly making 101 YouTube shots based on the guest stars and monsters that appeared in the episodes of the new Scooby Doo movies. I hope you guys are up to date to the things I've been doing. So since March 15th to April 15th, I've been watching the new Scooby Doo movies. I will say that so far I've been having a pleasant experience. So if you need to know, I've already made a review on Scooby Doo Where Are You and Biku Scooby Doo. You can also check out my other videos as well. So where can you watch the new Scooby-Doo movies? So basically, where have I been watching the new Scooby-Doo movies? So I had to purchase the new Scooby-Doo movies on the YouTube Prime Time thing. While I did have a good experience watching the new Scooby-Doo movies, I do have one right with this. Uh, one episode was missing from the Prime Time um, service. Luckily, there was a YouTube channel that did have that episode, but it was in parts. But I do suggest that YouTube to have full episodes in order. You can also notice that I've been watching The Lion King and The Home Alone. Um, I highly recommend those. So how did I get into the new Scooby-Doo movies? First, I would like to make a correction on my video, The New Scooby-Doo Show Review. Uh, I stated that the Scooby-Doo show was the second show from um, Scooby-Doo franchise. I would like to state that it's an incorrect statement because it's the third show from the Scooby-Doo franchise. So the new Scooby-Doo movies is actually the second show from the Scooby-Doo franchise. And I think there's a really good reason for this. So the, for the longest time, I did not even know this show even existed. So I didn't know about it until that March where I actually watched the new Scooby-Doo movies. So as a child, I think I've watched the Scooby-Doo Where Are You and the Scooby-Doo show, but I don't think I have watched the new Scooby-Doo movies until today. And I think there might be a reason why I haven't watched the new Scooby-Doo movies. I think there's a reason for this. It's probably because of bad marketing. First of all, let's get with this title. It's called the new Scooby-Doo movies, yet um, it's presented itself as this as a show like Scooby-Doo, where are you? And the what the Scooby-Doo show. However, none of the episodes are actually movies; they're just longer episodes. So I may not be the only one who probably blocked out the new Scooby-Doo movies out of their memory. Maybe I have watched it as a kid, but maybe I didn't think it was a show. And if I did watch it, I probably forgot that I did watch it. Also, another thing about the title, it's also kind of deceiving. I think at the time, it would make sense it would be called the new Scooby-Doo movies. The fact that it's called new is kind of um, deceiving, because it's not new anymore. So overall, I think the new Scooby-Doo movies had bad marketing. I would also like to suggest a different title. Um, I think calling it... The Scooby-Doo and the guest stars would have been a better title than calling it the new Scooby-Doo sh- movies. The main selling point of this show are the guest stars. So yeah. So if I had to rank the t- titles of the past three Scooby-Doo shows, I would place the Scooby-Doo Where Are You at number one. I think Scooby-Doo Where Are You is the most iconic of the titles. I will place the Scooby-Doo show at second spot. It's rather too simple, 
but at least it's better than uh, the Scooby-Doo movies, where it's kind of deceiving, and this is kind of a reason why I blocked it out from my memory. The next thing I want to talk about is the theme song of the new Scooby-Doo movies. Let's start off with the visuals first. I think for the visuals it's kind of all over the place, but my favourite part of the visual is probably the gunslinger, where it's walking towards Scooby, and Scooby walking towards it, and then um, the gunslinger shoots its gun. I think that's a fun visual to see. But my least favourite of the visual is probably where Scooby is waddling. I think it looks really goofy. I don't like it. As for the song, although I do like the song, out of the three I think it's the weakest. The next thing I want to talk about are the characters from the new Scooby-Doo movies. I think for me, I can notice the characters' strengths and weaknesses more in this show. First of all, let's start off with Fred Jones. While Fred Jones is a good leader, I do notice when sometimes he can be controlling or stern, especially when talking with Shaggy or Scooby, or sometimes with Daphne as well. For Daphne, I think I've noticed that she does play an important role in the show. For example, like there was one episode where she plays as an actress to, to cover up with another actress. So basically, she was a stunt double, and I also noticed that she does use her like um, feminine side a lot more. Like um, she's trying to um, take a picture of herself. It has also shown that she can also be just as scared as Scooby and Shaggy at times, um, and also I think um, that shows that she can be vain as well. Um, I do like that about her. It shows that she's not just a flat-out boring character. I do believe that flaws and weaknesses make a character a bit more interesting. Then we have Velma. Like, she is the smartest of the group. Um, we do see her weaknesses as well. Like, um, she can be a bit um, snide or sarcastic when talking to characters like Shaggy and Scooby. But sometimes she can be like that with Fred and Daphne as well. Like. Um, she thinks she's intellectually superior, um, and she can also use like um, words that people may not understand. Um, so she may come off across as condescending. I think Shaggy and Scooby are just the same as the other iterations, but still, yet again, I think Shaggy and Scooby are victims of gaslighting. Like they will see a, a monster or a ghost. But the others will say it like it's their imagination. But again, as I sometimes don't feel bad for them. Because sometimes they will do that with each other. The next thing that I want to talk about is the thing that makes this show the best of the three. We can talk about, about marketing and all that. But I think this um, version of the show is much more better than... Scooby-Doo, where are you, and the Scooby-Doo show. And here are my reasonings. So, so Scooby-Doo, where are you, is like basically um, focused on the monsters. I think for um, the new Scooby-Doo movies, it's not the main focus, which I think um, for the monster side, I don't think it's really that important. I think what makes this one much more better than either of... Scooby-Doo, Where Are You and the Scooby-Doo Show are the guest stars. I think um, what makes the Scooby-Doo Show better than Scooby-Doo, Where Are You are the characters like Scooby-Dum and Scooby-Dee. I think they change up the um, pace. I think I mentioned it in the um, Scooby-Doo Show review. But uh, for um, the new Scooby-Doo movies, it goes beyond that. I think every guest star makes um, this... Um, episode much more in engaging it makes it a uh, different each time even the most unnoticeable characters like there's Tim Conaway or uh, Jonathan Winters who I would consider the like the least noticeable but I think um, they change up the even the, they make the episodes a lot more interesting um, so it's a lot more fun in this show. 
I hope I was clear about that. I know I was a bit waffly. I think I might make a separate video on the guest stars of the new Scooby Doo movies. Maybe I might make a ranking video based on their iconicness. Um, who knows? Um, I, I, it won't be a promise though, but I, I want to. Um, so if you want to, I would recommend subscribing to stay tuned for that. So overall, if I had to rank um, each three uh, of the shows, um, I think the new Scooby-Doo movies is at the best. And I would have to say uh, Scooby-Doo, where are you, is at the worst. So yeah, that's my ranking of um, the best to worst. Anyways, if you like this video, uh, make sure to like and subscribe. I do have a new Patreon page. You'll find a link in my um, uh, about section. Anyways, um, thank you for watching and have a lovely day.